following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the May 24th, otherwise known as the Terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, Hey, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During the next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in at 877-927-6648. And if you can't dial in, hey, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email, send it early. Please send it to steve at tfnn.com inside the subject heading if you would be kind enough to put radio show question. And, of course, our Tigers Den Laney in every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's off 320 points. That's 1%. S&P 78, oh, nearly 2%. 3% for the NASDAQ 100, 379 points. The Russell's off about 2 and 6 tenths percent or 47 points. Nearly 3% for the semis. That's 83 points to the downside. 2.5% for the transports. Gold's trading out at uh, 1864. That's up 9 tenths or 16 points. Silver's up 1.5% or 32, uh, 32 cents. Trading out at 2205. Lights recruit is up a buck. Natural gas is up a penny, and the 30-year Treasury is up nearly two points, straight out at 142.08. Lead the charge, dollar-wise, to the upside is AutoZone. Trade out at uh, 1862. That's up 57 bucks or 3%. Or rather, the automotive joining in on the party up nearly 4% or 22 bucks. America's Car Mart is up 25%, and uh, Insolent Corporations up 12 bucks or 6 percent to the downside. It is Google 149 bucks, nearly 7 percent. Amazon 91 bucks, 4 percent. Booking Holdings 80 bucks, 4 percent. Mercado Libre 69 bucks or 90 percent. Tesla's off 40 bucks. So we've got some movers, and boy, do we have some shakers. But let's begin by taking a look at the play by play and go look at the equity future contracts. Let's change our windows. We'll go to our multi panel set of time frames out here. And really, as we take a look at the ES mini. I'm looking for, was there any bottoms that formed earlier this morning? The two time frames that pop up, or the three time frames, I should say, that pop up on our, or four time frames that pop up on our screen. You know, you give, give me enough time, I'll figure out those four time frames. The five minute, the 10 minute, the 15 minute. So that's your ultra short term. And then you've got the two hour time frame chart. And that's one that we're going to focus in on. And that was a TD9 count. So what we have here inside of the ES mini, the first bottom on the 200, on the two hour chart here. Give me a moment. That took place on May the uh, 13th, May the 12th, May the 12th. May the 12th, uh, as we came into the close, you had a nice big old bullish engulfing candle confirming the Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. Price moves higher, and then we get a move down below that prior low out there. So there goes your potential theory of higher lows, higher highs, because that's not what took place. But yesterday, coming into the close, May, no, not yesterday, May the 20th, you get another Rhodes Mentum indicator signal. So the question is, is that low going to get taken out again, just as it did last time? I don't know the answer to that, but what I do know is that we did get a TD9 count bottom. And that says that by 2 p.m., we will have a completed TD9 count. You can get a lower low during this session. Uh, we've got 50 minutes to go. Anything can happen. But bar number nine did complete with a bullish hammer candle. And so let's assume at this stage here that the TD9 count bottom is in. 
That did send price up higher towards its oscillator and change line, which is red, and that has been rejected. So what you do know, what I know, is that line is going to be a key level of resistance on any move higher. Currently, that's printing at 39.18. Then another resistance level above that, this is the two-hour time frame chart that we're looking at, would take us to 39.52. Likewise, if I can say likewise, I just did. If the low of today gets taken out, that is the low of that bullish hammer candle right now, and that's at 38.72. That would suggest strong momentum move to the downside. That would suggest going back and testing the lows from the 20th, maybe taking them out. We don't have that just yet. So we want to watch and see, does this take hold? Does this uh, start getting above resistance levels because it's below support areas, the bottom of its current profile, 39.14, then the oscillator and change line? I don't know the answer to that. We just have to wait and see. As we look at the shorter intraday charts out there for some signals, that would be that 5, 10, 15-minute chart out here. Um, what I don't have is really any kind of a bottoming signal. I don't have a topping signal necessarily either, but I don't have a bottoming signal there. And that suggests we could see price move back here. So um, what else can I share with you on the uh, ES Mini? Not much, at least not that I can see. Price is below that daily red oscillator and change line. We've only had a couple of sessions. This is now the third session since the uh, beginning of the month where price has been above that. And those have just simply been one hit wonders. So if price can close above 39 23 or so that's the daily oscillator and change line that would be a positive otherwise just expect some of the same same old same old now let's go take a look at the nq the nq getting hammered out here down three percent as we speak let's go see what kind of signals we might be able to find here i believe it is a two-hour time frame chart that also formed a td9 count let's wait for this thing here to populate and just make sure let's also pull this back just a tad do we come on populate 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 come on the folks who are the, the good folks are waiting here let's go ahead and pop there we go so now we've got a td9 count not a hammer candle by the way it doesn't have to be a hammer candle it just was on the es mini let's expand out the two hour time frame chart here for the e uh, for the nq so what we basically have here is you have that nice roads momentum indicator bottom that formed on the 20th today is the 24th the price has basically been consolidating with inside that profile ever since so if i were to ask you What's the key level of support? You would say, well, that's easy, Steve-O. It's going to be the low of that uh, Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal, and that would be at the 1194.91.25 level. And where's the resistance? Well, you got really two resistance areas. The first one, because we have a TD9 count bottom that has formed, would be the TD9 count threshold resistance, and that would be at 11.918. The next level of resistance above that would be 12096. I would say it would be the close of about 12096. That would say to Peter, okay, maybe the chop chop fizz fizz is over with, or at least you get a run up to the 12546 area out here. But right now, what we're doing is we're watching support. You got really two levels of support. 11551 is the bottom of the profile, but it's really the low of that Rhodes momentum indicator signal at the 11491 area that you would be watching. If we look to the other time frames for other signals out here, what do we have? Not much. What I mean by not much is other than the TD9 count on the 120-minute time frame chart, I really don't have much more to report. So now let's go take a look at the Dow. In the case of the Dow, is it below yesterday's low? Is it below? Is it traded below yesterday's low? I'm looking at the Dow Equity Future contract here. And the answer is it has not. And that's got to make you say, hmm, something to think about. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, 
De-Risk Partner, Ready Development Stage Gold Project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go to our first request. Our first request from uh, John in Philly wants to take a look at the uh, a couple of different instruments out here. So the first we're going to take a look at is the uh, Kansas City wheat contract out here, the July contract. John, if we take a look at the monthly chart, let's just go through the different time frames. Monthly chart is uh, very bullish. What I mean by that is we do not have any kind of bearish signal out here. On the weekly time frame, you are forming bar number eight, uh, potentially out here. You do have Rhodes momentum indicator signal, but no bearish reversal candle with price above. It's weekly green oscillator and change line, which is 1198. Conditions are bullish there. In the case of the daily time frame chart, it did top with both a TD9 count pattern and a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. And right now, price is pulling back to test a level of support. And this is a key area out here. This is at 1223.40. If price closes below that, then the next level of support will be at 1179. And then below that, John, will be 1123. If we take a look at the 195 minute time frame chart, it topped with a TD9 count pattern, but you also have a TD9 count bottom. In fact, as I look at all of these intraday charts, the two that have a bottoming signal would be the 30 minute. It has a valid TD9 count bottom, as does the 195 minute chart. So those lows are going to be really important. Why? Because if price closes below those levels, that tells us about a strong momentum move to the downside. The 195 minute uh, target would be 1168 to the downside. The 30 minute chart would be at 1192 to the downside. That's not the pattern that is in play right now, but it is something to keep an eye on because that's what the message would be should price take out those lows. Now, with regard to resistance on those two time frames, the 30 minute chart would be at 1244 or thereabouts, 1245. That's its oscillator and change line. And it'd be about 1295 or so. We'll call it really 1309 for the 195 minute time frame chart. So that's what I see when I take a look at the July contract for the Kansas City weight. John wants to take a look at December corn out here. So we got ZC, we got December 22. This is going to take just a moment to populate. Hey, uh, folks, basically, you know, and you already know this on a yearly basis, you know, price is well above last year's high. So when we take a look at wheat, we take a look at corn, we take a look at everything, you know, it is in a, a big move to the upside out there. Um, we're letting this populate. While this is populating, let me go see if I can find cattle. 
Also, I'm going to get those at least going on my black background charts here. So if you give me a moment, got fly live cattle out here. Okay, so we got that population. Now we've got the corn corn contract. So, John, let's just do the same exact thing. We'll start with the monthly time frame. You can see there was a TD9 count uh, top out here. That was back in February of 22. There wasn't even really a hiccup. Price above that strong momentum move to the upside suggests higher price. The weekly chart is a bit congested out here. It has a, looks like a TD9 count top. Let me see here for December. It has a TD9 count and road momentum indicator top, and price is testing support. The ultimate level of support here is 705.60. If price were to close below that, then what we would look at, that's a bullish structured profile. Then you'd be looking at a potential move to 627. So right now, you've got the confirmed top, price consolidating with inside its profile. What's the daily tell us? Daily tells us that price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. Don't know if that will hold. That's at 728.75. But if price does close below that today and or tomorrow, we go back and we at least test the lows, you would presume, uh, from May the 9th. And if price gets below that level, which is 703.75, that can start your move to 653. You can see you've got some uh, bottoming signals that are present, not confirmed, on the 195-minute chart. It would need a bullish reversal candle. The 130 would need the same. So, too, for the 65. Those could confirm Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom signals. The 30-minute has got a TD9 count pattern. The 15-minute, it's got nothing. So what's this tell us? Well, because you've got a nice TD9 count bottom that's confirmed on 30-minute basis, John, if there's a close below this morning's low, that tells you we had lower. Otherwise, on a continued rally from here, price should go and make its way up to the 725.58 level. Let me see if I can get... Um, so the uh, June contract is still the active contract, I believe, for cattle. So let me uh, see if we can get this to populate on these white background charts out here. And if not, we'll go take a look at the uh, we'll take a look at the black background chart. But we can get more information from these charts. So let's just give it. Uh, oh, you want to take a look at August? Okay, sorry about that. So give me a moment here. See if we can uh, populate this here. L E. It's going to take just a second. So sorry about that. That was called a uh, Stevie screw up. Uh, and if you hang out with me long enough, you'll uh, you'll experience those uh, from time to time. So uh, August of uh, 2022, let's go ahead and let the cattle. Now, what I can tell you is cattle on a daily basis, John, while this is populating, it is trading in between profiles. So your daily level of support would be at the 132.39 area and uh, 135.75 would be your level of resistance here. Come on, populate, populate so we can show John this area. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we've got the uh, – so just still got to finish. Just give it a second to complete here. So I don't have a – I have – okay, perfect. So the daily time frame – and I know I should go look at the monthly here, but there's nothing on the monthly for me to share with you. The weekly, is there anything here for me to share with you? Let me open up the chart. It's got a Rosemont indicator top. Price could be targeting 127.17. That's what the weekly chart. But but before that happens, you have a buy the D point pattern on the daily time frame. That's what I was really noticing. So this tops with a TD9 count. Let's go ahead and draw the A to B line from that high down to the uh, swing point low. That was from May the 2nd. No, I'm going to do is I'm not even going to copy that. I'm just simply going to take this since we've got A to B. Move that to the C to D. There you go. And voila, yesterday you had a nice big old bullish engulfing candle. Now, John, what the issue is here for uh, live cattle is price needs to overcome that red oscillator and change line, which it has been below for quite some time. So it tried to do that earlier in the day. That level, by the way, that OUL level reads at 132.83. So you have your confirmed bottoming signal. What you really want to do is at least get the momentum side of this trade to give you the uh, go ahead. We don't have that as we speak just yet. If you did get that go ahead, then you're looking at potential resistance. The next resistance level of the upside, 133.65 and 135.75 above that now that's coming from the daily time frame charts let's see if there's any other signals out here worth noting <laughs> 130 minute nice roads momentum indicator bottom out there the same for the 30 minute chart 30 minute chart forms a td9 count top and pulls back to support so if price is going to head lower because we've got that nice uh, td9 count top out here and price pulling back to test that oscillator and change line after changing color and after forming the top right now if price can hold this that is a buy signal for the 30 minute time frame 
But that's in essence what you're kind of looking for on the short term to see some type of signal here that not just holds support, holds support and then takes off from here. And should price take off from here, that level of resistance would be on a 30 minute base would be 133.97. If you clear that, then you're looking pretty good out there. Is there anything else here to take a look at on um, live cattle? I don't see anything. So, John, I hope that helps you out. And uh, sorry that uh, you weren't able to get through on the uh, call line out there. I think we've got some other requests. So let me go back and take a look at those, uh, see if I can get this here. Uh, to, to who asked me? Many things. You're welcome, John. Uh, no, August, you put in there. Somebody was asking me for something. Darn it. What was it? Was it Zoom? Somebody asked me for Zoom. I apologize. It's hard for me to, yeah, I think it was Zim. Zim was, is, is what it was. So now let's, uh, I'll tell you, my perfect, perfect time for a break. I remember we looked at Zim yesterday. Didn't we see on Zim that thing looked like it wanted to head higher? That's my recollection. Let's go get the charts up on the screen. When we come back from this break, we'll go figure out what Zim is doing. Zero to TF and You ready? If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow's off 260, S&P's off 70, and it is Zoom, not Zim, that we're going to go take a look at. It looks like a pretty damaged stock to me. Tops out here on a monthly basis gets up to that $600 level. That tops with the TD9 count top. And now what we've got is a TD9 count bottom that's going to complete this month. So this guy, and it's right before its breakout level of 6581. So uh, you're going to have that confirmed uh, monthly TD9 count. 
That looks pretty nice. Weekly, if you get a weekly bullish reversal candle, you're going to get a confirmed road momentum indicator bottom. So certainly the monthly and weekly are trying to form a bottom, and the daily already has. The daily formed a road momentum indicator bottom on May the 13th when price gapped to the upside. A gap to the upside is your friend. That is a bullish reversal signal out there. Now price is just consolidating with inside that daily profile. That's between 85.09 to 100.25. After that huge run up to the upside and then move back to the downside, which is really what a damaged stock looks like, you probably just have a consolidation at this stage moving sideways in between that zone of 85.09 to 100.25. I could be wrong on that. And if I am going to be wrong on that, what we're going to see is price clear and close above 96.17. 96.17 is the top of its 195-minute profile. It also happens to be the breakdown levels or near the breakdown levels of the 130 and the 65-minute chart. So that's your real significant resistance zone out there, Dan. If price can get above that, well, then maybe we take a look at the move to the 125 level. And above that, then you've got a change in trend with all those bottoming signals out there for both the monthly and the weekly time frame. So I hope that provides you with the information that you were looking for inside of uh, Zoom. You say you were looking at a uh, target of 92.85. 92.85, the upside, well, the uh, 95.10, certainly, and 95.83, those are levels that have been hit so far. Um, and those are the TD9 count breakdown areas. So I hope that helps you out. Nancy wanted to take a look at Apple. So AAPL is a ticker symbol. It's going to take a moment here for this to populate. And I believe that uh, Nancy is looking at, uh, for Apple as to where it should go from here for the rest of the day. Oh, you know, oh, man. You're not asking for anything, are you? For the rest of the day? Okay, well, when, we, when this populates out here, we'll uh, see what the 15-minute chart and the 30-minute chart communicate to us. Maybe I need to go down even lower. But uh, let's just see what these things tell us. So, you know, Nancy, what you got yesterday on the daily time frame was a confirmed by the D-point pattern. But what we can see here, I'm just simply going to expand this out. And uh, so as we expand this out, we can see that what price did was ran right to where it should have, which was that red oscillator and change line. So first things first, upside potential would be that oscillator and change line. That would be 142. Am I saying that's where price is headed to? No, I am not. But what I can say to the downside, the likely price target would be the bottom of its new profile. Bullish in structure. Below the prior profile, so Apple is not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination, but 136.04 would be your downside price target. Now let's go see what the intraday charts here are communicating to us. Not much. Not much. Not much, not much, not much. Hmm. You know, and I appreciate it. I wish I could give you what it's going to do the rest of the day. And... I don't think if I go find out what's going on on a five-minute basis or a ten-minute basis, then I'm going to get a whole heck of a lot more information out here. So what can we do? What can we say? Um, let me see. I've got a different screen open. You don't see it. I'm just going to see if there's some other profile levels. So if you give me a moment for that, and then we'll go ahead and switch over. Okay. So let me switch over. Here's what we're going to do for fancy Nancy out here who's really asking for a lot, quite frankly, which is, you know, where's price going for the next couple of hours here inside of Apple? So, I mean, to do that, I'd have to really look at a number of different things, uh, none of which I can really do in just a couple-minute time frame and make everybody happy. So did I oh, – I didn't even get the right screen. Change windows, get to the black screen. So here's what we're going to do, Nancy. We're going to go to this uh, black background screen here where I can easily just change the uh, time intervals and we can take a look at what's going on. So at this stage here, prices below profiles on a five-minute basis. When you're below that, you're below support. Where my price head to, I just simply have to go to the swing point, which has not been tested. And that took place this on a five-minute basis at 10.15. So that's between the level of 137.33 up to 137.90. The volume there was uh, 1.4 million shares. You'd like to see price pull back on the lighter volume out there. That's the five-minute chart. So that five-minute chart says it still needs to get down there and test that swing point. I don't know what will happen, Nancy, when price tests that swing point. Should it test that swing point. Let's go ahead and go to Tom's favorite time frame, and that would be the 10 minute chart out here. And on a 10 minute basis, you can see that the rally ran right into resistance, the bottom of that daily profile. Old support being 
in this case here, new resistance. And that profile form above price, that was a bearish message for Apple. So this is suggesting that price should test, and it's already doing it. So it's doing it right now. That's testing. Let's go draw a line across here so I give you that price real easily. And we're looking at the high of that swing point. And the high of that swing point was at 138.25. Now, the volume on that on a 10-minute basis, Nancy, was 2.9 million shares. You tested it with 1 million then 1.1 million. And this bar here, which is going to complete in five minutes, you already have 600,000 shares, so about 1.2. So you are testing this swing point on lighter volume, but boy, it's not reacting. Your upside resistance level, if I were to ask you, what do you think it is? You would absolutely tell me, 140.29. So the five minute, the 10 minute chart, they're just suggesting to us that price is going to go test that swing point. In the case of the 10 minute, it's already done on lighter volume. But we haven't seen much movement there. And on the 15 minute, we're below profile. So th there's nothing else that I can provide to you to assist you with what uh, Apple's going to do during the day out there. So I do hope that that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for the question. Uh, although, um, and, and I just gave you the, really the best information that I possibly could. So I do hope that helps you out. Let's go to our next question. This one coming in from Mike P. And Mike went long NVIDIA. So let's go take a look at the NVIDIA charts out here, NVDA. And uh, let's go over to my, well, let's look at the black screens here. Well, the white one is popular, NBDA. Whoops, let's try that again. I guess we got it. Okay. So NVIDIA right now, Mike, looks to be testing support. And that is the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. That level is 160.50. You really prefer not to see price close below that level out there. If it closes below that, you know, it may just go down to test the swing point from last Friday. It was last Friday? No, May 12th. That was not last Friday. It may go down and test that swing point, and that's in the 161, I'm sorry, 155.67 level. 71 million shares, so you're pulling back with lighter volume. You are trading into support out there. That's on the daily time frame. The weekly says, boy, Mike, I'd really like to get lower down to 149.49 or so to complete the A to B equals CD pattern and then form some type of bullish reversal candle. And then it might be off to the races of the upside by generating a buy the D point. We just don't have that as we speak right now. And the monthly chart says I want lower price. And the lower price that it wants to get to its trade at 161.37 is 134.59. So the only way that's going to happen is if price breaks below support. And I would have to now say closes below the bottom of that candle for May 12th out there. Of course, you are long. So let's go look at our white background screens out here. I don't know what your time frame is for being long. Let's go see if there's any kind of short-term signals to assist Michael P. out with. You went long at bid at 161. Earnings are out tomorrow. Okay. So what else can we – and you can see where some of the 134.59 comes from, Mike. That's a TD9 count breakout level on the monthly chart after a TD9 count top out here. Uh, the, oh, the daily's got a nice roads momentum indicator bottom, so that's helpful. So that really tells you that if price that close below that uh, May 12th level, it's curtains to the downside. But right now you just got a consolidation with inside that daily profile. That range out there again – to the upside is 189.50, and to the downside it is at 160.50. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So back to NVIDIA here just to end that. You know, Mike, as I look at the intraday charts out here, everything trying to form a bottom. So there's definitely the intraday and the daily are really attempting to form that bottom. You're in at a good price out here. I would just simply watch the uh, the profile low as well as that swing point. That swing point, again, had volume of 71 million shares. You're in it right now with 37 million shares. So you'd like to see that volume stay light there. But you've got, uh, you know, earnings coming out tomorrow. Uh, I wish I had better signals on the uh, weekly and the monthly for you, and I just don't have those. So thanks for writing in. And I do hope that helps you out. We've got a request from uh, Brent in Martinez, California. Brent wants to take a look at uh, natural gas out there, which basically, folks, you could look at your UNG chart, and uh, but it's natural gas, and it's the July contract that we're looking at. Um, what I don't know inside UNG, if it's only July that is uh, 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 that makes up that uh, count, uh, makes up that ETF, or is it July and some other month out there? But as we take a look at the July contract, the uh, monthly looks uh, muy bueno, no bah, topping signal at all. Should continue to move higher. The weekly chart. It's negating as we speak right now. This week, it is negating a TD nine count top out there. And uh, that would suggest a, a strong move to the upside. It is really the daily out here, Brent. That's the chart time frame that you want to be concerned with. Why? Price is making its way back to a road's momentum indicator top. So we know there's resistance there. That's at 905. You are going to complete bar number eight today. This says you could complete a TD nine count pattern. Or could, yeah, you could form a TD9 count pattern tomorrow and complete it on Thursday. That requires tomorrow that the natural gas contract for July close above $8.40. If it does that, you will have a valid TD9 count top. Whether it's today, tomorrow, or the next day's high, that I don't know. But you would have that topping signal back where price also found resistance and formed that road's momentum indicator signal. Now, the cool thing here is you don't have to exit the trade or anything because price is above the daily oscillator and change line, which is green, the daily top of its profile out there. So it really gives you a neutral signal. And then wait to see if, in fact, uh, the TD9 count pattern takes hold and we get a close blow the green oscillator and change line. If you got that, then I would likely jettison that position. But longer term, monthly and weekly are saying looks good. It's just the daily that's saying it might want to go ahead and put uh, uh, buyers into a little bit of a time out. Now, what I will do is just switch over to the black background charts for you and take a look at the UNG. It'll take too long here to populate. 
And so on the UNG, see if there's any kind of signal there worthwhile for us. So really, I'm just going to look at the volume as price is coming into that uh, swing point area that we're looking at on the daily time frame. And the volume on the uh, daily time frame, that's interesting. Oh, I look at the UNG, that's why. So back on that uh, high of May 5th, was that the actual high out here? It was uh, May 6th was the actual high. Uh, May 5th out here, that had volume of 9.5 million shares. You traded up into it yesterday with light volume, 7 million, and today you're at 4 million shares out there. Now, in the case of UNG, it has tested that swing point high and it has rejected it, but is that enough? I would wait for the underlying instrument. Uh, natural gas. Back out to the natural gas contract here because we didn't look at those intraday time periods, so we should do that. And as opposed to me, just talk about it and then have you guys wonder what the heck I'm talking about. We'll go right to those charts. 30 minute rose momentum indicator top has led to a consolidation with inside its profile. No damage done. Same for the 60 minute. The 120 minutes rose momentum indicator top and price is with inside its profile, but just slightly trading really on its oscillator and change line out there. So not a clear signal. But if price does close below that level, you could be looking to move back to the 850 area. Nothing for the 240, nothing for the five hour time frame chart. So I would prepare for a TD9 count topping pattern to form between today and Thursday. Hey, Brent, thanks so much for writing in. Let me just make sure I get your question. Could you give your analysis on G? I can see an A to B equals CD pattern on the weekly for the UNG without an expansion of the C to D leg. So what Brent is looking at here, so let's go back so just simply so I can address what he pointed out to us and share that with you as well. He's looking at an A to B equals C D pattern. He said inside of UNG specifically from the weekly time frame. But again, what we know is the UNG, it's really about the current components that are with inside that contract that are going to be the driver. But the A to B pattern I'd use December 28th is my A point. The B point out here is the high from October 4th. The C point looks like it was a low on December 20th. We're in the, so it made the one to one A to B equals CD pattern, creates a bearish engulfing candle on the trading day out here, Brent, of April 18th. You're now above that level and you're at the 1.272 expansion area. So it's negated a prior sell the D point pattern. So that looks bullish, but still we've got to pay attention to that daily natural gas TD9 count uh, in my opinion. So thanks so much for writing in. Always good to hear from you. That was Brent in Martinez, California. No other questions? Um, oh, 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 I take that back. We've got a question here from uh, JT in New York. JT says, which of these two shipping companies would you buy, Nordic American Takers or GNK? So I don't know the answer to that question, but let's go take a look at both of them and see if either of them suggest that we should buy them. Let's begin by taking a look at Nordic American Takers. Now, Nordic American Takers is going to take uh, just a few more. Well, Actually, you're still on the black charts. Let me go pull those up while the white background charts here populate. Nordic American tankers, as you can see right now, uh, gapping down this morning, trading below support, which is 28 cents. That's the bottom of its daily profile. Trading below its weekly profile, trading with inside the monthly profile. So that's what I know at this stage of the game. Your question is, which one should you buy? Let me just quickly see what does the chart for GNK look like out here. That is, uh, oh, well, GNK looks better. All right, I can already tell you that. Uh, because price on a daily basis is consolidating with inside its daily profile, not trading below the bottom. It's trading slightly above the top of its weekly profile, and it's trading above the top of its monthly profile. So simply profile-wise out there, uh, JT, the chart that looks better is uh, Genco Shipping. Let's go back and take a look at now that I've got the uh, white background charts for Nordic American tankers up on our screen. Let's go see if there's uh, something on those charts that provide us with some assistance. And as we take a look at the daily time frame out here, which was trading below the bottom of that daily profile, I don't have anything out here to really assist us. Price can get back to 188. So I don't see a buy signal. Don't see something on the 195 minute chart. I don't see any kind of buy signals for any time frame. For Nordic American tanker. And if price closes below support today and tomorrow, we're probably looking to move back to the 188 level. So that that chart, we, uh, we, we'd we like it if it forms some type of bottom signal. I just don't see it at this stage, or at least during that, you know, 30 seconds, that full 30 seconds that I gave it. But I didn't see anything. And I think if you had seen something, somebody in the den, you would have uh, 
uh, knocked uh, a two by four across my head and said, wait, hey, Steve-O, wait a minute. You're not looking at everything. Now, we're going to let this thing populate. This is going to populate with that uh, Genco shipping trading company. And here we're looking, the signals we're looking at here for JT is, do we have some kind of top that's forming? Do we have a TD9 count, Rosemont, Dominicator signal? <clears throat> do we have anything? Now, this week, price gapped up triggered a Rosemont indicator signal, but that just requires a bullish, a bearish reversal candle to confirm the pattern. We're trading above the top of the weekly profile, so price may continue higher. Now, the daily shows why where resistance is at, and that's that Rosemont indicator signal. That formed out here with the bearish engulfing candle on April 20th, and price, in essence, is trading into that. Now, that uh, was on the daily time frame for GNK. The volume up at that high was 1.4 million. You're moving into it at 1.04 million right now. So it looks like that high at least wants to get tested. But if you get a close above that high, that high is 26 bucks. Even Steven Jedko is likely off to the races. See Roads with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at ticker symbol STNG for one of our dinners out here. Looks good. Looks like it wants to make a move to 4045 in time. The weekly chart shows a uh, bar number nine of a TD9 count will complete this week. It says we could see some type of intermediate term top 
form between this week and next. The daily chart says not so fast just yet, although that not so fast would change to, okay, I'm ready if we got a bearish reversal candle. But right now, price is trading above its roads momentum indicator signal top of its profile. This suggests that price should continue to move higher out there. Um, don't really have anything else on that. There was a request to, I don't know if it will populate quick enough for me to go take a look at that other stock that you wanted to, was Sting, and it was, let me see here, it was, uh, oh, I know what it can do. Let's just go to the black background charts, just so you can take a look at this. Star Bulk Carriers out here. So as we take a look at it, price is trading above the top of its daily, weekly, and monthly profiles out here. So uh, short of TD9 counts or anything, both of these look uh uh, very strong. It look like they want to continue to move higher. So I hope that helps you out with regard to Starbolt Carriers and Sting, not Sting who was in town Sunday evening, but the other Sting, S-T-N-G out there. So let's close out the show by looking at the intraday charts here for the NQs, see what kind of signals they're generating for us. Right now, as we take a look at the... Um, what are we going to look at? What are we going to look at? Resistance, 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 resistance. So what's going on? So you got that TD9 count on the 120-minute time frame. And that, in essence, is where we began the show, and we're going to end the show there, too. So your signal with regard to what the intention of the market is for the rest of the day will be based upon whether or not price can close above Stevie Zosseter and change line. And for the two-hour chart, that's currently printing at about 11.781 or so. Make it 11.785, 7.86. If price closes above that, price should go run up to 11.980. 18. That's a CD9 count breakdown level. That's coming courtesy of the 120 minute chart for the NQs. Folks, thanks so much for joining me on Terrific Tuesday. Stay tuned. We've got good programming lined up for you. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us out home from 3 to 4. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific day, folks.